Are Democrats intentionally importing illegal immigrants to get more voters? There's way more to the story than meets the eye. Welcome to America Uncovered, I'm Chris Chappell. We all know that the U.S. has a huge illegal immigration problem. Some say this is 100% intentional, so Democrats can flood the polls with illegal immigrants who vote Democrat. And if not them directly, at least their U.S.-born children once they become of voting age. Impressive, since a lot of current Democrats ain't gonna live to see them reach voting age. Now there are some crazy conspiracies here, and some things that are actually a concern, so keep watching because I'll get to all of them. Now Donald Trump, a man who has had his issues with elections, is very concerned with this issue. I believe now that that's why they're letting, allowing these people to come in. People that don't speak our language, they're signing them up to vote. And I believe that's why you're having millions of people pour into our country, and it could very well affect the next election, and I believe that's why they're doing it. Now, let's get this right off the bat. Uh, no. Illegal immigrants can't vote in national or state elections. However, some local elections do allow it. More than a dozen municipalities allow undocumented immigrants to vote in some or all local elections. I mean, if non-citizens could vote in elections, America wouldn't even be around anymore. Because the UK could have just flooded the country with Brits and voted, we want to rejoin his majesty's empire. Then the 4th of July would just be called Whiny Ingrates Day. But Chris, I hear you say, they came into the country illegally, who's to say they wouldn't try to vote illegally? It does happen. But it's rare. In 2017, the Brennan Center for Justice, a liberal think tank, examined 42 local jurisdictions around the country in the 2016 election. It found that out of 23.5 million votes, there were a whopping 30 incidents of suspected non-citizen voting. A 2022 Georgia audit found fewer than 1,700 cases of non-citizens registering to vote, much less actually voting. You get the idea. Rampant illegal voters aren't, as far as we can tell, big enough to be an issue. Except with people having an issue with me saying it's not big enough to be an issue. But millions of illegal immigrants have crossed the border recently. Some estimates put that number at almost 14 million. What if they become citizens? Well, it's not easy for an illegal immigrant. If their children are born here, they automatically become citizens, and there are ways for them to get their parents' citizenship. And how would they vote in the future? It's a little hard to tell. But the main concern people have is some kind of mass amnesty now. That's what the Border Patrol Union president is warning. Some, like Elon Musk, argue Biden's strategy involves getting as many illegals in the country as possible and legalizing them to create a permanent majority, a one-party state. When he was president, Barack Obama did try to unilaterally grant amnesty to millions of illegal immigrants. Obama even said, I just took action to change the law. You know, the thing that's the job of Congress? That got shot down by the Supreme Court. And I don't think the current Supreme Court would let Biden do it either. Good luck getting Congress to do anything. However, if illegal immigrants can't or don't vote, Many argue that they still can skew elections for Democrats anyway. And that's because of the census. The House of Representatives and the Electoral College are both based on census data to determine how to distribute representatives and electoral voters that decide the president. Under current regulations, all residents, including illegal immigrants, count in the census. Trump tried to omit illegal immigrants from the census when he was president, but Biden reversed that. So the question becomes, where do most illegal immigrants live in the U.S.? According to a Pew Research report, the top six states were California, Texas, Florida, New York, New Jersey, and Illinois. But that was as of 2021. There has been a huge surge even since then. And we don't have great data on where they end up. And remember, depending on where they end up, this could just as easily help red states as well as blue. And keep in mind, states can change color. California used to be a red state. And illegal immigration is a hot button issue. And that could see many blue states turn red. Maybe Democrats will come to regret Biden reversing that Trump policy. 
Have you ever heard of Chesterton's fence? It's the idea that maybe fences, and dare I say walls, have a purpose, and you shouldn't go tearing them down till you know what that purpose is. If you'd like to learn more, click here to check out the latest video from my new show, Deep Thoughts While Gaming. And click that orange button to support America Uncovered for as little as a dollar a month. It really goes a long way in helping us out. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching America Uncovered.